Hi, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to today. Good morning, everybody. This is an excited bunch. So much good stuff coming up this fall. Let's kick it off, guys. Are you ready? Welcome to today. We're so happy that you're joining us. You can't spend your whole time trying to run another country by proxy. Do you believe schools should mandate the vaccine? I believe everybody who's eligible to be vaccinated should get vaccinated. We are going to reflect on an extraordinary life and career of our friend Willard Scott. Obviously, we want to remember all those amazing people who are lost, but let's celebrate them. You guys have new neighbors up in space. We did see them for just a few seconds. Zero gravity is where things really take off. Look, Ma, no hand. Last night, quite the show. We have got to see this. <laughs> Wrong way back! Akuna. Nutella. Don't adjust your tongue. Woo! you so obsessed with me? Are you guys seeing this? Donna Rama. All right, Donna, who are we playing for? I know this is so boring and you can cut this out, but. Give it up, the one and only Keith Urban. This is today on NBC. Whee! September sure was a busy month here in Studio 1A. We covered so much, so we thought, why not bring you behind the scenes to let you in on the TV magic? So over the next half hour, in what we're calling the making of today, we're going to pull back the curtain, which sounds odd, and show you how the big moments on the broadcast come together each morning. And what better place than to start on the Great White Way, Broadway. After 18 months of theaters being dark, Broadway is back, and today was part of the Great White Way's big reopening. We lifted the curtain at three different shows and made it all come together for the next morning. So how did it all happen? Check it out. Hey guys, look what we're doing. We're behind the scenes. We're taking you right behind the scenes of Broadway. Broadway it's so go. much fun. Backstage, Yay! all of it. Broadway is back, baby. And we got to be there for a very exciting moment. Are you ready? Along with our cameras, producers, and a few special guests. What do you say about Broadway? As Hoda and Savannah waited for their first interview at Wicked, Can I do the first? Savannah and daughter Vale entertained the team. With their lyrics memorized, they were ready to interview the real Glinda and Elphaba until New York City sounds got in the way. How do you feel, girls? Oh my gosh. Well, that's a New York welcome right there. That is how we feel. Ah, all the things you don't see on TV. Meanwhile, my producer, Erica Glass, set up with our crew at Hamilton. So just to catch you up on what we're doing, we were just... Here for the ham for ham, they have a ticket lottery that happens before each show, so we shot that. Now we're just waiting for Alan Craig to get here, and we're just setting up. There's lights, there's sound, there's cameras, we're ready. And with that, we hit the ground running, interviewing. Are you excited? Yeah! And making jokes with the fans outside. Paul Roker tonight is Hamilton. Paul, that would be amazing. No, no, <laughs> I'm breaking news to you, like this is happening. After no one believed that, we went to the theater balcony for more interviews where I had a surreal moment of my own. Just for a moment, you know how few people have been up I know. on the marquee I know. of the Richard Rodgers Theater. It gets no better this than is, that. This is, wow! Hamilton's back. Woo! New York City's back. Robert's Look at all these back. people. They're streaming. Oh! I mean, the yes! Are you ready? My people! My people! There was part of that. My people! Oh, I love this country. Anticipation for the show building is our cameraman, Bill Angelucci, capturing it all. Here we are, getting ready to go here. And as we signed off at Hamilton... Got a ticket, got my playbill, got a Hamilton fizz. Woohoo! Broadway's back, baby. Jenna and Carson were just getting started at The Lion King. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. Right? Hakuna Matata. Hakuna Matata. What a wonderful phrase. With producer Christine Morea taking charge. What do we do here? We're just a little stand up. Right. Like... We're getting ready to open. We're about to okay. open the doors. Can't 
Okay. We are here at the Lion King, Minskoff Theater, New York. Our crew filming every moment as Jenna and Carson pumped up the crowd and kept them hyped as they walked through those famous doors. Enjoy the show! Have fun, everybody. Get some popcorn. And Broadway's back! Yeah. Yeah. And with that, Broadway was officially open. Who's gonna know your name? What's your name, man? Alexander. But it doesn't mean our work is done. We are loading our footage that we just shot at The Lion King. I'm going to rush it over to 30 Rock after this where another producer will then screen and write this. And then we have a team of two producers who are cutting this overnight to air tomorrow. So it takes a village. Christine gets the footage to producer Kate Redding who edits through the night. It is 2.45 in the morning. The shows have long ended and all the crowds have gone home, but now it's my turn to do my job. I'm working with another producer and two editors. We are all working together. We have this script. We've got about five hours until this is gonna be on the air. Making it all come together. Last night, we all had the honor of helping reopen the doors on the Great White Way. With the best team in the business. Every day, our team proves what it looks to be like defying gravity. Up next, we're going to do that literally. Join me and our crew as we talk about taking flight in zero gravity. Welcome back. You may have seen my flight of a lifetime in zero gravity, a trip some 30,000 feet above the ground that affords you a weightless experience without leaving Earth. And as it's about weightlessness, I'm all for it. I caught up with our crew after to find out how they made this story soar. On TV, my flight in zero gravity may have looked effortless. Look, Ma, no hands. But for the crew behind the camera, this unique and weightless journey was a heavy lift. How'd you get the assignment? It kind of fell in my lap maybe two days before we actually got on the plane. I just got a call from my senior producer and said, hey, do you want to go in to a zero G flight with Al Roker? And when you get a question like that, you don't say no. It normally takes a couple of weeks at least of planning. Here you had two days. What went into that? You might not know this, but we weren't actually clear to get on the plane until about 30 minutes before you arrived. <laughs> yeah. So, I mean, it really came down to the wire there. Once on board, our next concern, motion sickness, especially since flights like these have been dubbed vomit comets. I was surprised that they said most cameramen get sick. If any of us get sick, the shoot's ruined. Forget about the shoot being ruined, the flight's ruined. The, yeah. And, Not to and, mention our flight suits. Exactly, exactly. And I don't think anybody wants to puke on Al Roker. Or does so, Al Roker want to puke on anybody else? Well, I mean, then I think we just have to sit back and deal with it. You're making me nauseous, actually. Yeah. Pushing over, zero one. As it turns out, floating in zero gravity is surprisingly chaotic. When I thought, okay, Al's going to go weightless, it didn't register in my mind that I'm also going to be weightless. Suddenly, I'm floating, too. <laughs> it just turns the whole thing on its head, literally. My view of the cameramen floating around and watching them struggle was just very funny. It was difficult for them to actually do their job to begin with because they can't really look at what they're shooting. They're just kind of pointing it in your direction and hoping for the best. And because the plane flies in waves, we had less than 30 seconds at a time to make weightless magic. This panic sets in that I have 30 seconds to capture this and I can't control my body right now. This is one of those where you think you can prep, but no one can actually tell you what you need or what you can experience. Did I mention the roar of the plane kept us from hearing each other? Mic drop! I didn't hear anything he said the entire time we were in that airplane. It's a bird! It's a plane! It's Superman! At that moment, I have no idea he's saying that, but his commentary was great. Are you happy with the way the, the piece turned out? I love the piece. I think it's great. One of the things that I wanted to put in was that the first hour of the flight is a totally normal flight. I sat down and I knocked out uh, because that's what I do when I fly. That is another thing that I wanted to mention in the spot and I just wasn't sure honestly if you were going to be okay with me telling people that you fell asleep on the flight because I just thought again going back to how normal this thing is like Al Roker fell asleep like he was totally zenned out. 
Glad I had our crew along for that out-of-this-world experience. But you know who was really floating on cloud nine for one assignment? Our own Chanel Jones. Earlier this month, Chanel was able to talk to stars at the Met Gala. Here's her behind-the-seams look at fashion's biggest night. Studded with nearly as many stars that light up the night sky, the Met Gala shines bright as celebrities showcase their stellar looks on the red carpet. And I got the chance to greet them with that question we all want answered. Can you tell us who you're wearing? Tell us who you're wearing. Tell us who you're wearing. But not far from those world-famous steps of New York's Metropolitan Museum of Art, my Monday began just like any other at 30 Rockefeller Plaza. Good morning and welcome to the third hour of today on this Monday, September 13th. And we a date I had circled on my calendar for weeks. So I just finished third hour today and now it is Met Gala time. So I've got my hair out. We're going to do something fun. Um, shall we start the journey? Let's do it. I'm with Bianca. She's doing my hair. Say hi. So we are walking to the car. We're going to go to my house and get ready. Um, I feel like, am I nervous? I don't know if I'm nervous. I don't know how to, des I don't know how to describe what I'm feeling, but um, excited. Excited. Okay. Yay. Exciting. We're back in the corner of my living room, the back of the house. Um, so shall we begin? Yes. After two hours in hair and makeup, my glam squad worked its magic. And I had a trick of my own, mixing couture with a little bit of comfort as I made my way to the Met. I literally had to bring flip-flops and walk because traffic is so bad. <laughs> so across the street, I'm changing into my heels. And true story, Kathy Lee Gifford did one of them. She gave it to me. Of course, I couldn't cover fashion's biggest night without an entourage of my own. A crew led by veteran Today Show producer Yael Federbush. So I'm super excited. I'm going to the Met Gala. I'm on my way. In her more than 20 years with Today, Yael has traveled the world, meeting some famous faces along the way. But she'd never covered a red carpet event until now. We have to check in and show our COVID vaccine cards and um, get cleared for our credentials. We waited behind the scenes with all the reporters for about an hour or so, and now we're all going in one at a time into the tent. Let's do it. Once inside, we quickly took a look around before cramming into our designated space. Corralled next to other media outlets, I had some time to catch up with a friend. I'm talking to my friend Joelle, <laughs> who's across the way before the heels came off once again. Ah, oh my God, so much better. Then some last minute accessories for our setup. Just a trip to Michael's, no big deal. What's this, sister? Woo, fancy, fancy. Life in a fishbowl as the guests began pouring in. With the party officially started, it was up to me to get the attention of each celebrity. You were my inspiration tonight. I kid you not. Oh my God. I hope I did you proud. No, you did. I literally, I hope I did you proud. A fangirl moment from an unforgettable night. I couldn't wait to share with Today Show viewers the next morning. It was my first time covering the Met Gala at the Metropolitan Museum of Art here in New York City. It really was a good time. Ms. Jones, thanks so much for letting us in on the secrets on how all that came together. Coming up, we're going to give away some set secrets through a tour of Studio 1A. Don't go away. Here in our house, Studio 1A, we're going to give you insider access by taking you on a tour of our set. And I got to tell you, this correspondent is, is one of my all-time favorites. Me. Me. This is my favorite part of the studio. Uh, it's, we call it the data wall. This is where I do uh, all my weather. We actually ended up going to Best Buy, and uh, it was fantastic. Got this deal. No, we didn't really. It's very special. It's, and, and I just kind of touch it, and boom! We got it for the election last year. This is far bigger than what Steve Kornacki has. Kornacki's got screen envy. All right, he's got the fancy khakis, but he doesn't have this. 
That's right. We can just do it, and we can put anything in here, but it, it really is terrific. So every morning before 7 a.m., I meet with our, our climate unit to discuss what we're going to share on the broadcast, and then uh, we go over the graphics, and, and I've got the, this great team of folks, uh, Don Sunikas, uh, Catherine Prosev, Brian Van Aken, uh, usually from day to day, that come up with these graphics and, and design it, and, and we've got a lot of action and color. It's, it's really fantastic. Uh, and I can change them like this, or uh, I can have uh, Don Sunikas, who's usually in there, uh, change it like that. Boom. And so it's like it's like magic. Uh, here's a fun fact. Uh, Studio 1A is also now home to NBC Nightly News. And guess what? Lester Holt is actually paying me. That's right. I'm making some long green from a long Lester. I love it. All right. Now, our, our show's been in Studio 1A since 1994. We love the space, but we actually like you. We go through some renovations every few years. That's right. Uh, we started at the beginning of the month. The contractors disappeared for five months, uh, and then when they brought the cabinets in, they didn't fit. Uh, we got this new desk. Uh, it used to be a huge oval, but now it's a little uh, semicircle. And it, here's the thing. We've got little monitors in here that uh, we can uh, pick up. We, we can watch Peacock or anything during the show. It's great. Uh, we also redid our floors. Now, we do have uh, some wood paneling, uh, but we also have this white kind of marbled look. And, and you may remember, for those of you who uh, have that memory, our floor rotates. Oh, Gerard, could you start? Gerard's one of our, our main stage folks. Uh, the, the floor rotates. Look at that. Hey, this is fantastic. I'm just going to stay here. Here's a fun fact. Gerard could actually get this thing up to about 50 miles an hour. And people just start flying off. Whoever is able to hang on gets to actually keep their job. Come here, come here, come here. This is the part you don't really see. This is, this is, uh, okay, that's, that's Gerard and, and who, who actually spins the monitor. Uh, there's uh, uh, Zach, who's our stage manager. And back there, that's Nate Congleton. Photo Nate, you might recognize him. He takes all the pictures. Uh, he's taking one right now. How, how meta is that? We're taking a picture of, of Nate taking a picture of us. It's a, hey, Gerard, spin this bad boy one more time. I love it. Here we go. I'm putting on my time. I love this. All right. Well, we got to get out of here. So we'll see you a little later. Oh, I had so much fun on that spinning floor. Uh, you know who else has a fun spin on things? Why, Hoda and Jenna, especially when they're making TikTok videos. They're on the TikTok. Social contributor Donna Farrison helped the ladies rack up more than 11 million views on their account. So what goes into the making of a viral video? See for yourself. Hey, everybody. Donna here in Studio 1A, and I'm going to take you behind the scenes at how I help Hoda and Jenna make their TikToks every day. So come follow me. Hoda, guess what? What? We have our own TikTok page. Okay, do you guys remember when we first launched our TikTok? Yes. What was your first reaction? What? <laughs> we haven't said that in a while. Well, but you that know what? Was our reaction. We kind of thought we were hitting, we were getting cool. <laughs> it was happening. We were hip. Both uh -huh. of us were like uh -huh. look, looking to see what yeah. the dance is. Yeah, and we were shaking our head to booties. And we just fell off the chair. To get inspo and see what's trending, I scroll through TikTok every night to see what might work for the ladies. Some of my favorite TikToks to make are with the celebs we have in our studio. Most recently, Addison Ray. Two, one. Why are you so obsessed with me? Oh no. Okay, first stop in my pitch process to the ladies is doing it right now, three minutes before air. Let's see if we have time. Oh yeah. No, we can be her. We could do her. Wow. Swipe to the next one. Okay, that looks more involved. Hold on. Yeah. Boom. Boom. So basically, you can I choose your like, rendition. I, I like think the, the first one. one. Yeah, I think the first one, too. <laughs> okay, I'm in the green room now, and neither Hoda, Jenna, nor I are particularly great dancers. On a scale of 1 to 10, how would you rate your choreographed dancing? Zero. Oh, you're not giving us a 4? <laughs> four. 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 4. you have to have rhythm. one forever. Okay, one. I'm gonna try out the TikTok dance that I want them to do first, just to, you know, play fair. Oh, 
So, right after my segment, it's time to film the TikTok. Let's do it. So I'm gonna do a countdown clock. So you're gonna hear three, two, one. It's like crazy. Yeah, crazy. Um, start. Wait. Okay. Three, two, one. Really yeah, terrible. Dakota and Jenna spin to it. How'd you guys feel about doing that TikTok? Well, uh, one thing I know without looking at it, we're ridiculous <laughs> and embarrassed. I felt, yeah, embarrassed. I felt <laughs> old. I felt like a hag. <laughs> no, you did not. No! Fifteen. Davies repulsed. What do you guys think about the TikTok process in general? Are you into it? Are you over it? No, we like TikTok. We like it. We don't understand it still. <laughs> we like it, and we feel like we have lots of content that no one's interested in. <laughs> do, 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 by the way, we keep putting out content. Tell the people now. Do you they follow us? us? Who are we talking to? <laughs> Hey, should I join TikTok? Well, I don't know. I, I still have to get on that worldwide interweb thing. Anyway, coming up, I'm going to answer some of your questions after the break. Welcome back. We've given you an inside look at what goes on behind the scenes. Now it's time to dive into a look behind my routines in a little segment we're calling Ask It All. I'm answering viewer questions, and nothing is off the table. Hmm... How many pairs of glasses do you have? The internet is obsessed with Al Roker's new glasses. I've got about 10 pair, I think. My old ones, these were the old aviator glasses. Does anything say hipness more? Your glasses are ridiculous. <laughs> <laughs> you and Deborah both work in the industry. How do you lean on each other professionally? When we first met, we were both here at NBC. Very soon after, she left to go to ABC. I think we've each made each other better. So I've helped her find her inner lightness. And she's helped me be a little more serious. Like right now, I'm not wearing pants. And she told me to do that. I never get to really see Deborah Roberts at work. I've never gotten to see her do a live shot before. Oh my gosh, I saw it <laughs> over there. Bye-bye. of 150 miles per hour. When on location covering extreme weather, how do you stay safe and get your top ten? We have an amazing crew. They know what to bring. They know where to set up so that we maximize our safety. Don't you wish you had your weight back? Right about now, I do. Oh. Hey, Al. For as long as you've worked here, what is the one thing that you're most grateful for about your job? I am grateful for this job. Coming to you. On a dusty road. All you do is add weight. So it means something like this. <laughs> Al, you're an icon. Of all the places you've traveled throughout the years, what's been your most favorite? I've been to Greenland. I've been to Iceland. We've been to Japan. We've been to China. We've been to Russia. I love them all. There's always something great about those places, especially when you get to meet folks, different cultures and, and different foods. And yet the thing that still brings us together is that I think we're, we're still very similar, that we still love our families, we still love our food, and we like meeting new people. alarm goes off in the morning what are the first three things you do i guess you can figure out one you can probably figure out the second i talk to my meteorologist don sunikas and and get the forecast and then we work on that and then i go downstairs and we go over the graphics and depending on how long the first two take then i go to work here's what's happening in your neck of the woods we hope you'll keep those questions coming because good news, the making of today will air on our Today All Day streaming channel every month. Is that a good thing? Well, you decide. If you want more behind-the-scenes access to today, sign up for Today Insider. You'll get a weekly email that includes early access to steals and deals, giveaways, and so much more. Just head to today.com slash insider. Now, if you thought September was busy, get ready for October. And if you think October is going to be busy, November is going to be off the chain. We'll take you along for the ride as we prep for International Day of the Girl, our Halloween extravaganza, and so much more. Until then, see you then.
Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.